Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here. Just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. And here we have Juventus against Cagliari. My name's Peter Drury and here's my co-commentator for the game. It's Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to... Owen! It's wide but only just... Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Juventus, he's had a go! Goal, Juventus! Juventus grab an early lead. Good start. Steered out wide. Keeper has beaten it away. So what now? Looks like a good ball through. Terry. Juventus were imperious when the two sides last met. Owen! Great effort, beautifully taken. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what... Got a shot away! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. There's the whistle for half-time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Juventus head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. Well, the action has already resumed here. Juventus carry a one-goal lead into the second half. So, Jim, what are you thinking? They're ahead, but they're not playing as if they are. There seems to be uh, more of an emphasis on protecting their lead than, than adding to it. It's all gone a little timid. Dybala with a long pass out wide. Great leap! They've done it! And this is getting better and better. Juventus grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. And it's Lafondre. Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Milani, Tonelli, Lorenzo Insigne, tries lifting it over. And the referee brings it to a close. So they have their win, they had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them, and the result followed inevitably. Your final thoughts, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in...
I think we're just about ready to get going here. A warm welcome to you wherever you are in the world. The teams then, Juventus against Roma. This is Peter Drury and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. There's the whistle. So, this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Um, this is a, a tricky one, but, you know, I'm going to go for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain because he can be, I think, a key element. He's, he's essentially a very attacking player who wants to be at the sharper end of things, but he has the match. Has a pop! Decent enough try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Oh, no wonder he's turned away in disgust. I think I would have too. It's a poor kick by the keeper, being intercepted. Going for goal! They've scored! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run and he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Roma trail at this early stage. How will they respond? Pressure stays on. It is a corner. Oxlade Chamberlain. Ada shoots. That is brilliant from Ada. And they are disappearing out of sight. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. Well, to his credit, he managed to ghost into space to, to finish things off, but the failure to spot him was, was ghastly defence. Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. He's had a shot! They are rampant! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Are looking strong on the break. Winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking. That's the real highlight. without reply this is becoming a stroll and it's Dybala looks like a good ball through oh sweet feet from him there and the shot it's bounced out the shot's on oh the keeper's done just about enough it was more possible than probable and the outcome backed it up Peter perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare it's it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defense and by the time he picked up the flight of that it was too late he's made it two and no doubt he's hungry for more and 
the shot. It's over the line, and that'll be a goal kick. And the half-time whistle goes. Well, that flew by. It was breathless stuff. It's been one-way traffic here after the first 45 minutes. A relentless barrage that looks set to continue. Well, I would think this one is possibly over as a contest. They know they've already reached cruise control, and it's a case of the right game management to take it from here. Juventus are pretty much out of sight here. It really has been a one-sided game so far. The action is back on the way. Some astute defending to ensure they got no further. Looking to shoot. They've got it. A contest no more. It is nothing short of utter humiliation. Juventus has a swing at it. And in it goes. Roma playing for pride here, and the match surely be on them. Grishikov. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting thing. No, it's probably... Goes for goal! Roma settled for a point from that gripping game last time out. And it's Kalali. Balls loose, who's getting there? Is there any support? He might not need it! Dybala, ready with two goals under his belt. Four it goes. And the finish! Dybala. The lack of set. Checo. And that's it. Juventus have one big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. What are your thoughts on today's game, then, Jim? I think it's all about setting the right tone at the start of our match, and if you can back that up with an early goal, it just energises everybody, the whole performance, and I think they were certainly more fluid as a result of the early goal. Well, thanks to Jim. We both wish you a very good evening.
so the world will come to you all. We will be on the way very shortly, once all the pleasantries are complete. The team standing, Perusha against Juventus. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the country box on natural course is Jim Becklick. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. But if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Who do you think this is turns on, Jim? Well, well, if we're talking about strong characters, Gigi Buffon is uh, an easy choice. A class act to me, his presence gives confidence to everyone else on the team. He's a colossus, uh, an Italian treasure. Oh, brilliant! That is brilliant! Oh, that is a gem! Unbelievable! And it's Juventus who take the lead! You've built him up what about it? And already they're looking to run away with it. And another time. Perugia have statistically the worst defence in the league. Owen pushes it out wide. Whistle goes to half time. We learned from the first 45 minutes. Juventus just didn't want the half time whistle to be blown. Convincing and controlled. Juventus are sitting pretty here at half time. They 2 0 up now. Here we go again then. Mascherano, back into the middle, Juventus, and on, can he put it away? Tries to get it forward quickly, Diamante, he's left his man. That's one way we're trying to make things happen, there's a few who could follow that example. Aquilani, it's gone out for a throw in. Prashito with a searching ball. Now he's wondering who wants it. Owen into the channel. Oh, a full blooded challenge. And it had to be. Up he gets. And more and more and more. Juventus take a three goal lead and they are rolling out of sight. It's broken loose and the finish! Dashing forward at pace. Pjanic. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. The final whistle for Juventus is irresistible here. Dominant, Dominant utterly ruthless. Only ever one result. result. A comfortable win. win. So Jim, how do you reflect on what, what we've seen in Juventus? has simply made their superiority count. They found the cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to the turbo. So thank, thank you very, very much, Jim, for joining me. He thinks it's to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very, very good evening.
promise to walk us through to all of you around the globe. But we're just about ready to get going. The players will be with us very shortly. And our live game is Fiorentina against Juventus. I'm Peter Murray, providing analysis expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beck. That's how you beat it, and I'm ready to rumble. The action has already started. Dibala passes it through, and he's still hammered here! And it's a goal! And some of the best managers I've played with have insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at that. Big occasions with the big big goal, crucially. Dybala is playing his defensive capabilities here. Yeah, that's no strike right tackle. I think, I think it's, it's great, great to see that kind of application and desire for him forward and will help out as the defender. He's gone for it! Shots on! Hits one! Tries to get it forward quickly. Owen, and it's Dybala. He's made sure that that won't get through. Plays it long. Keep his ball. Hoist it high. The first 45 minutes. Ah, there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Any opinion you'd like to express for the first half? Yes, it's behind. But it's a, a reverse situation. As long as there's better defense and so forth. You can avoid a second goal on the counter. And he's gone for it! It away! Yeah. Two up now! And they are cruising! Juventus have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2 0. That second goal is such a polarizing effect on the respect that moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other has a hit! Very well to get to that. Well, let's help me to keep keep it for just to see if an A makes great. Gets it back. back. They're actually not getting any tight, which is just interesting. Just think, uh, it's it's normally cautionary. Uh, don't, don't dive in. Try, try. And it's it's ball! Oh, surely I deserve better than that. Oh, well, such a clever pass that plummets the defense. It could well, it could well be revisited. This is. He's got it! Take a three goal lead, and, and they are, are rolling out, out of sight. sight. Can he score? It's a broken loose. loose. And he's cut it out. out. And the referee brings it to a close. Juventus take a huge step towards, towards the, next the next round. round. They have the all important away win. win. It is theirs now to lose. lose. Thoughts of what we've just seen? Juventus just made their intentions clear that nothing else will do.
soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. And here we have Juventus against Fiorentina. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now and I'm eager for the action to start. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Juventus are back home, having earned a lead in the away leg. And they're in a position where a semi-final place is all but theirs. It would take some comeback to deny them. Now the pass. Lovely feet. The shot's on! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Into the channel. It is deadlocked. Balls loose. Who's getting there? And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Can he put it away? That is wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Oh, and that is absolutely glorious. He's got himself a pitch of a goal. Unbelievable. Juventus take the lead. He's had a go. Back of the net. Hot knife through butter. They have done it again. Can he score? Oh, terrific. And the half-time whistle goes. Drew it back on the first 45 minutes. Juventus are two up and everything is shaping nicely. The only criticism, it could have been three. Juventus in control at half-time, 2-0. And the game has already resumed here. Fake. Rooney! Oh, great save, real class. Well, that was massive leap. They are rampant. And the lead is three. It is surely done. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Plays it out to the flank. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Rooney. Passes it through. Big chance! Oh, taken with style. Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many. Juventus totally rampant here. Well, to be honest, I think they're all showing no substance. Where's the final product? Chalanolu. So what's he planning here? Dybala. He scores! And again. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. Juventus have got it done. Through to the last four. And evidently now believing in it. Well, how will we look back on that? Juventus made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form. It's not always about class or style. It's about pride. And they showed loads of...
Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. The teams then, Juventus against Empoli. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckley. Hi everyone and thanks Peter, it's great to be on board. We're underway. And it's eight air. Now it's eight air. Eight air. Goes for goal! And it's a goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. Juventus take the early advantage. Juventus have this frantic spell of games. The shot's on! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter... The... In with a header! <laughs> Saved it! Forward it goes. Chuck! Oh, in! They've scored! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight. Juventus grab a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised. But now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. And we've reached half-time. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Juventus sitting pretty here at half-time. 2-0 up. Here we go again. Plays it out to the wing. Empoli were impressive in their last outing and brilliantly orchestrated by the manager. Yeah. Shoots! They are running riot! And they are pulling clear here! Juventus take a three... And a shot! Good clearance now, can they make something of it? Now the counter! And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Yeah, you'll have to practice a, a little more patience before deciding to run. It can make all the difference. And the finish! He scores! Ruthless and relentless! Utterly rampant! Juventus totally rampant here. Garay plays it forward. Goalkeeper's ball. Looks to slip it through, shapes the shoot! Oh, terrific save. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing. Has a swing at it! And that's that. Juventus have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.
With the group stage over, the competition becomes a whole new beast now. No second chances. It is do or die every step of the way from here to the final. This is where the stakes get higher for all those teams remaining. Knockout football from here. the whistle who do you think this turns on Jim Karen Benzema is worth a shout for me for a, a big fella he's very mobile deceptively fast and a fine goal scorer too and if the supply to him is good here he'd be looking for more than one yes he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team Cristiano Ronaldo, Terry, Mascherano. So what now? And Dybala! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Juventus certainly won't want to look back and, and dwell on that. It was a good chance though. on that Owen just to point out Peter that the fullbacks are quite high and what do they try to achieve well it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about Pjanic tries to get it forward quickly and it's Dybala Tries a through ball. Dybala. Dybala has a go! Goalkeeper's ball. Throw it. Let yet. Looks to up for the header. Went with his head but couldn't steer it in. Now it's Benzema. Benzema going through. Marcelo. Oh, good interception. There's the end of the first half. So neither team has broken through. But certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. But still goals. And we are up to the break. Juventus ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment and that has to be maintained in the second half. Gets up to head it! He will be livid with himself. Oh look, I don't want to sound too dismissive, but from here that looks the harder thing to do. And it's Carla Hall. Isco, long and high towards the flank. Promising cross, shoots! It's in! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. We have got changes here, from both sides in fact. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Modric just wouldn't be beaten there. And the counter is on. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Yeah, they've got to be careful. Owen! Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Aimed long and direct. Come to the last five minutes. Dybala, he's left his man. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Great reaction! 
Samuel Carvajal. Right. Quick ball forward. So that's it. It is all over. Juventus will have to turn it round at home. Look, I think a draw might have been a much fairer result today. It's just that one crucial second half goal. That's what cost them. So hello and a warm welcome to all of you worldwide. We're just waiting for the central characters to make their appearance and then we will be underway. And here we have Genoa against Juventus. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Wait, wait. Cheers Peter, it's a privilege to be here, it really is. We have already started here. So Jim, who would you identify as... And the finish! Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, I'm shooting. Owen has a hit. Massive leap. Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Veloso. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Juventus were imperious when the two sides last met and the fans are asking for more of the same. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. So what now? Fischer. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Juventus come in, having established that lead. A game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far so good. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Has a swing at it! No mistake! Two up now, and they are cruising. Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Just brushed off the ball there. Genoa uh, keeping their... Owen! Littman. Oh, going for goal! Gets his head to it! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Fisher. And there goes the final whistle.
Juventus have won it. As much industry as inspiration. Whatever the formula, it has worked for them. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. The teams then, Sampdoria against Juventus. I'm Peter Drury and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Shapes the shoots! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. The defence can get it clear. Littman. Juventus were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Timely intervention. Referee's given a throw. Owen! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Looks to thread it through. Terry. Adair. Deftly done. It's a brilliant interception. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Is it in? I can't speak highly enough of the keeper after that save. Can't stop thinking about it. And the first 45 minutes are up. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Well, the action has already resumed here. Juventus playing what Shot a goal! Big moment! Massive goal! Well, that's what top players do. They can seize the initiative almost single-handedly, and that goal eases them in front once more to make... 